Welcome back to my channel. In this video, my husband is going to ask me question. Uh, yeah, his name is Steve, and he is going to interview me few questions, and I'm going to answer question. And she doesn't know them yet. I haven't shown her. I thought it'd be a bit more fun, a bit more interesting if she doesn't see them first. So, nothing too crazy. But anyway, you ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. For somebody coming to the UK for the first time, what should they expect? Anything surprising? Oh yes, cards of shock. Cold. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, can I add? Yeah. Can I add one more? Yeah. The food. <laughs> the on. food. The food. If you live in London, maybe it is easier for you to get Asian food that really nice but in here well you have to cook your own food or you can buy Chinese food Where is here? in Swansea so Swansea's got about 200,000 population so it's about four hours from London yes so it's sort of a medium small city in the UK it's kind of a big university as it about yeah so so and you will not find Pambantu you know I mean you can you can hire somebody but it costs you more. Pambantu is a maid for anyone not from Indonesia. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Tell me that. Ah, no peeking. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you're not allowed to look. Um, for someone, well, when you started at university, was there anything strange that you noticed that, or anything a little bit surprising when you actually started? Actually, the positive thing about going to university when the one that I didn't expect, but actually it's really nice surprise, is that a lot of people who are from another country is also in the university. So it's really, really nice because I can make friends with people from around the world. Yeah. And it's surprising sometimes you don't even know if that country exists. <laughs> Very and like I met somebody in the school before and she's from Greenland and two of them and they didn't know each other but I met her like someone from Greenland that is really good yeah. cool. okay and another one last one if so, are you gonna add to that what? oh yeah I'd like to add another one the one that I didn't expect that is the classes that's why rules say that you have to have IELTS 6 and above because when you went to the lectures, uh, usually like the lecturers are from different countries. So sometimes you have to adjust your listening uh, based on the lecturer. So I had the lecturer who is from, uh, he is from Middle East and I have never heard anybody speaking English from Middle East. So I thought, oh. He is from Middle East. Also, even from uh, the lecturers from other part of the UK, they've got different accents. That's the one that you have to be aware of. Yeah, the lecturers are very international as yeah. well, aren't they? Not yeah. just the students. Yes. From all no. over the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, and this one wasn't for you, but what you know, if somebody coming over to study has the offer of going into the campus accommodation, or to find their own private accommodation. What do you think about the two choices? Ah, for I think for the first year in the university, if if you live here just one year, probably it is the best to experience the campus uh, accommodation. So you live on campus, but if you have to start in foundation year, I think it is the best your first year on campus and then the second, the, the second, the third and the fourth. Yeah, uh, it will be like outside because you can explore more, you can make friends more and you know like, you know, sometimes you can share with six people or even if you find somebody from Indonesia and you can share in the same house with another Indonesian. But in Swansea, not many Indonesian students. That's it. Ah, then we can make another Q&A in the future. You can leave the comments below what kind of things you want to know so we can make question answer that or he will answer that. 
okay maybe see you next time thank you for watching this video and if you have any comment please uh, leave your comment and subscribe and see you on the next video bye, bye. sampai jumpa lagi see ya